Hello and welcome to the Sisters for Fitness Wellness Show. I'm Stephanie Gaines Bryant. We're talking wellness today. We're talking to Treasure Gems. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. And we're talking about how several things can just help with your wellness, especially when we're talking about yoga. Yes. And how yoga can just help you find that, that sense of well-being. Yes. Now, let's start off telling me about who you are. Okay. Who is Treasure <laughs> Well, my name is Treasure. That is actually my given name from my mother. A lot of people don't know if that's my real name or if it's something that I just gave to myself. So first and foremost, that is actually my given name. My she name knew. is Treasure. <laughs> she, she knew. <laughs> yes, yeah, she knew. And I just love the fact that everyone says that I have a glowing illumination about me. So I feel like my name is very fitting for myself. Um, and uh, with my name, I actually have used my name to incorporate it into my brand and my business which is Treasure Gems. I have a online holistic wellness website, which is treasuregems.com, where I focus on women's wellness. So I have a few things that actually cater to the wellness of women and their wounds. I initially started my business in 2016, and in 2016, I, well, more so in 2015, I kind of had this infatuation with crystals and the healing properties of crystals and how they can actually heal us uh, from the inside out. So I got really into it. I was doing my research and was really trying to figure out how could these stones or crystals actually help me. So I was my first client, I guess that you can say, and I really wanted to see what else I could do with just with the crystal energy. So with the crystal healing, I started doing yoga. And when I started doing yoga, I just really started to really just see a complete change within myself. My whole energy, my aura, uh, my communication, just everything just really started to change. And I realized that it's not just something that people do, it's actually a, a lifestyle. So um, as my life was changing, I created treasuregems.com, which would allow other women to have access to the same things that I use to heal myself. Now, we're talking about um, feminine healing. Yes. Uh, you were talking about uh, uh, healing the womb. Yes. So do you think, well, I know personally for a lot of women that is an issue that we need to heal from there, especially after you've had children, mm -hmm. um, there is some weakness yes. down there. Mm -hmm. And sometimes we have trauma yes. that is affiliated yes. with our reproductive system. Yes. So how did you combine the yoga in the crystals? How exactly does that work? Okay, well, I actually, uh, I wrote my first book a couple of years ago, and I have a self-published book titled uh, Yo um, Yoni Yoga and Using Yoni Eggs and Yoni Yoga with by Treasure Gems. And that book is also available on my website, treasuregems.com. It is basically, the Yoni Eggs are egg-shaped crystals. They mimic the shape of our womb. They are attached to uh, strings that you can insert them and remove them just the same that you would like a tampon. So you insert these crystals, it's not big at all, you insert this crystal inside of your womb and you do your yoga exercises. In my book I go into detail with specific poses that you can do, like the cat-cow position, you know, you can do um, side lunges, you can do the cobra pose, I mean there's so many different positions that you can do and you actually are holding your yoni egg inside of you. And holding your yoni egg inside of you not only does this actually bring a centering and a calmness to yourself, it it actually, it, it cleanses you. It actually rids your body. Like I have different stones. We have a black obsidian, which is specializing in trauma release and past addictions. We have rose quartz, with, which invites love and it exuberates love for you. We have amethyst, which is a, a spiritual protection stone. So each stone has different healing properties that align within yourself. So that's how, that's how you actually incorporate them together. How do you know that you're getting the right eggs? That is a very good question. So when people come to me, I suggest 
if you are unaware, but you are interested in this journey for healing through Yoni Eggs and Yoni Yoga, they do not necessarily have to go hand in hand with each other. You can actually do Yoni Yoga without the Yoni Eggs and you can also practice with the Yoni Eggs without doing yoga. But how you specifically uh, differentiate from which stone is best for you, go onto my website. I suggest if you go onto my website, you will see detailed descriptions of each stone and you will see which one resonates with you. You will see which one it is that you're lacking or that you're trying to heal from in your life. So I tell people, if you go on my website and then you're reading and then you're just like, oh, amethyst, that's your stone. And then if rose quartz is standing out to you, that's your crystal that you're supposed to get. So, and if all of them are standing out to you and you feel like you need them all, get them all. If you can't get them all, get the nephrite. Nephrite is an abundant stone, which uh, pretty much has properties from each one. Now, how do the crystals work? Is, is for if people say, okay, I'm using these crystals, but how does that work? You, you said that there's an energy yes. that comes from the crystals. Okay. Everything is energy. I really genuinely believe that everything is energy and everything you put out into the world, you will either get back or it will go to somewhere, to somewhere else. And I genuinely feel as though when you channel your energy into the best form, you charge up your crystals, you charge them by placing them in the sun and you let them, you release whatever negative energies you have added to them from you having them in you by letting them release in the moonlight. And then as the sun rises, it charges up your yoni egg, you keep them clean, you keep them in a safe environment. All of mine's come in a silk or satin uh, bag to keep them separated from everything. And you just, you really have to align with them. You have to believe. The first step to any type of healing is believing that you can do it. So I believe that once you align within yourself and you believe that, yes, this is a step that's going to actually help me and you open your mind to actually receiving that, you will feel it. How did it help you? Oh, wow. Well, I will be talking forever if I went all the way into <laughs> detail of that. But um, a little bit about, about me. I am from the DMV. I relocated from the DMV to California for five years to actually uh, build and, 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 and create my brand because it just didn't have the the foundation here that I wanted and neither did I because I was I was a, a DC socialite I was into the nightlife I was a past life I was an entertainer so um, being here in the DMV area I just couldn't really get away from that it was always oh that's the dancer treasure it wasn't never oh this is the inspirational speaker treasure which is who I am now this is not the author treasure oh that's the treasure who I used to could see on a pole and I'm really tried to get myself away from I don't I'm not ashamed of my background at all because everything has made me who I am today but I wanted to be seen in the light that I was walking in not in the light that I walked from and sometimes you've got to go away you do and come back you do and you know, you've got to go away get what you need to get and then bring it back yes to where you started where that foundation is yes and I'm, I'm a very big advocate of that I feel as though for anybody if you are ever struggling in life and it's some you're in a standstill where you don't know how to progress or if you want to digress or what it is that you want to do I suggest leaving from your hometown I think everybody should take at least a year like, I mean, I was blessed enough to be able to withstand five years in California, which is which was definitely tough. Because that, <laughs> did you, were you in Los Angeles? I was in Los Angeles, I yes. know some, that is a tough, tough town. It is So for extreme. you to have been able to, I've seen people go a year, two years. Yes. You, for you to be able to live out there for five years. With my three children. And make your way <laughs> yes. for that long period of time. You're a strong sister. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> that because sometimes you really do need to hear it. And it seems like, you know, especially us as black women, we're always running from something or we're trying to see how far we can go without looking back. And it's just, everything is a journey. And I'm just, um, even coming back here to the DMV area, it was, it was, I was so in my head. I didn't know if I should come back, how I was gonna be received coming back, if people would align with me or how I would be able to be who I am now here and not be reverted 
back to who I used to be. But I am so happy that I have been being received as who I am now. People have seen the growth and they are interested in the new things that I am bringing and I am excited to share them personally. Well, tell us about your wellness bus. Okay, well, my wellness spa is uh, called New Energy Spa. And it's, it's called New Energy Spa because it gives you new energy. That's what, like I said, everything is we about all energy. Need energy. Yes, we all need it. <laughs> we all, we all we do. All, we are all tired. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And coming to New Energy Spa, it just is a few things that I incorporated for women's wellness, holistic wellness at that, that um, are my favorite things. Like um, I put a pink Himalayan salt room, which is. I believe, I, I'm not sure if it's the actual first mobile pink, pink Himalayan salt room, but I think it is. <laughs> but I, I created, I designed this bus myself. It was a shuttle bus that I completely gutted out. Um, it had uh, 36 seats in it. I pulled all the seats out and I put six custom Yoni steaming thrones. These Yoni steaming thrones are custom designed to steam your vagina. So th that is the second, uh, and Make, that's supposed to be a healing that is definitely, thing as well. It is definitely a healing thing. So it's like a facial for your vagina. Even if you feel as though you don't have any toxins or anything that you want to remove from your body, it just feels good. It's just something, why not? You know, we go and we get our face, uh, um, have a facial, we get massages, we do all of these other things. But we are pushing babies out. We are doing all types of things to our vagina. And we don't do anything to cater to our actual vagina. And I said, this has to, someone has to make an exception for our, for our <laughs> vagina. <laughs> so I'm- Somebody. Yes, somebody has to do it. And I'm, I'm happy that I was able to do it. When I was in California, I actually was in a spa. I was in a regular spa setting where I just had a suite inside of the spa. And I had my Yoni steaming thrones, which I used to sell on my website. I, I discontinued them on my website since I have my spa bus. But I used to actually sell the Yoni steaming thrones. So you would be able to steam at home and you could buy the herbs from me as well. But now since I have the the, the, the bus, it's a 30 foot bus. It um, has the pink Himalayan salt room. It has six Yoni steaming thrones. I do uh, silicone cupping. I have teeth What's whitening. That? Silicone cupping. So it's, it's a cupping massage. It is where you, I have the silicone cups, not the glass cups. So it's like you push the cup in and what it does is it pulls your, your toxins, it raises your blood to the surface. And what, what it does is it kind of, it gives you, um, not, well, it's, for some people it is painful, but what it does is it just releases any tension, any pain that you have. And actually it has been proven to actually work. I have done uh, full back cupping uh, sessions on people who saying that they've had real extreme shoulder pain or back pain and once they finish with their cupping session they have literally contacted me and said oh my goodness wow. what did you do something it's it just it feels amazing so the cupping is something that we do we also do vaginal masks so like I said everything is pretty much catered around women's wellness holistic wellness and just happiness just and just good energy so that's why I added the teeth whitening because of course a smile goes a long way so we want to make sure our smiles are bright our vaginas are tight and our energy is good you know that's just what I'm all about so with the um, bus do you locate at different places how does that work okay so with the bus I do have a website you can uh, go into my website which is um, on, in my links on my bio on Instagram Ms. Treasure Gems it's your you can search on Vagaro it is new energy spa and even if you search that on Google, it should definitely pop up. So I have uh, Sparty packages. It's spa party. Oh, okay, <laughs> okay. Yes, and those spa uh, packages you can actually come to us, where I have a specific location on um, Kenilworth Avenue in okay. Riverdale. So I have a location there where I park the bus and I offer walk-in services, or you can actually book us. And if you book us, we will come to wherever location you are. Just make sure you have enough space for us to pull up. I come to events. I, I'm very much so open to doing community events and uh, different types of pop-ups. So I definitely am interested in that. Because a lot of people, they don't even know what some of those things are are the benefits yes so just schooling people yes that's that's what I'm 
I love to explain. Like if I could take the time to explain every single thing that I have, I would literally be here forever. But I just think it's just really important for us to just release toxins from our body. Uh, just like uh, with the one of the services that I do have, where I call them experiences. Everything is an experience on the new energy oh, yeah. spa oh, bus. Yeah. So we have the ionic uh, foot detoxing exper uh, experience, and that is extremely popular. Everyone really just wants to sit their feet in the water and see what comes out and you are you will be surprised with how many toxins literally come out through your feet and you can see them in the water from your lymphatic system you can see from your kidneys excretion and can you and tell them how toxins are harmful to the oh, body oh wow to toxins are I, can, I mean, it's, it's toxins, like toxic has been an extreme power word for like the last five years. It's, yes. it's just, it just like went crazy. Everyone's like toxic this, toxic that, toxic this. But the toxins in your body, they naturally are supposed to come out through your systems if you are not familiar with the, the internal organs and how your body actually secretes certain um, organs and how it flushes out through your body. Almost everything comes out through your urine. You know, it comes out through, through your sweat glands. So naturally, when you are excreting these secretions from your body, they are just they just they just kind of just fall out and you don't know where they go. So they're reabsorbed. So that's where people are still getting the, the, the toxicity back into their body because they're, they're not aware of where it's actually coming out at. So my practice with the ionic foot detox and actually pulls it out through your feet into the water and you can actually see it. These toxins uh, come from your liver. If you are a smoker, you will see you will see the it coming out and everything. So the toxins just we we know that they're not good. They are very harmful. They are constantly deteriorating you from the inside out, and we got to work on it. We got to stay healthy so we can live longer. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some uh, yoga postures that you believe are healthy yes. for women, things that they should be doing that'll keep that reproductive system yes. healthy and just keep your body and mind and spirit healthy. Yes, healthy and whole. healthy and aligned as a whole. It's all about a holistic lifestyle. And so <laughs> what we're gonna do, we're gonna take a little break and I'm gonna run and get my mat. You're gonna get your yes. mat and we just gonna be mat friendly. Okay, <laughs> well, that's, well that's what we're gonna do. I'm, I'm excited to show you some womb some womb focus poses that will help you out. You are watching the Sisters for Fitness Wellness Show. I'm Stephanie Gaines Bryant here with Treasure, who is quite a treasure. We'll be back right after this. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Sisters for Fitness Wellness Show. I'm Stephanie Gaines Bryant. I'm here with Treasure this morning and she's going to demonstrate some postures that are good for women and their reproductive system, whether you're dealing with bladder issues, whether you're dealing with vaginal issues. These five postures yes. are postures that can help you deal with those issues. Tell us what those postures are first. Okay, well, we actually, I actually have so many different poses, but we're gonna to try to keep it a little short. So for today, we are going to start off in a squat. Um, some people, um, well, I'm not gonna go into the actual, I'm not, I'm not gonna go into the actual names of them that would be the technical names. We're just gonna just keep it real simple. We are gonna start off with a squat, then we are gonna to go to a low lunge. We're gonna go from right to left. We're gonna go from the low lunges to the pigeon pose, and then from pigeon pose, we are going to go into child's pose, and then from that, uh, well, I'm not sure if we wanna do happy baby, or we're gonna just try to end it out and do a relaxed pose. Okay, okay, so I will let you <laughs> step up front, have the front mat, and I'll step behind you. Okay. So, and work with you. Okay, so <laughs> so with, with all of these exercises, like I, we are doing all womb focus exercises, and these poses actually do help with incontinence. They do strengthen your pelvic floor, and I am pretty much doing these to promote the yoni eggs functions as well. So when you have your yoni egg in, everyone, you know, you put your yoni egg in, so it's inside of your vagina and your main thing is actually keeping it 
in, in position. You don't want it to slip out. So you're holding it and you're gripping it at the same time. And everything that you do, you want to make sure that you control your breathing. So the first thing that we do, well, every, everything, first thing I do, I do a chest opener and you just stretch. You just open up, just stretch, and then just give yourself a little down just to open up your arms and legs. And then we just come on down to a squat pose. And then when you're doing all of this, you wanna go down as far as you can, if you can. Okay, just, these are 60 year old ladies, so that's about it. <laughs> well, you, well, you are, well, you are definitely doing it. I'm very much so proud of you. So we wanna hold this for at least five to 10 seconds. And after you go from this pose, you are just gonna go right over to the, to the right, and then we're gonna go to the left and low lunge. So you just extend one leg and go on to the other side. And then you just, if you can, you just hold it. If you can't hold it, you are you can keep your hands on the bottom. These are all beginner friendly. So if you, you just do to, to the best of your ability without hurting yourself. Then you go over, you just slide over, and you extend the other leg. Make sure that you're controlling your breathing as you are doing it. And you just hold it. Inhale, exhale. And then while you are positioned here, you just turn right over. We're gonna go into lizard pose. And then we're just up. And you wanna be as low as possible because what we're doing is we are focusing on the Okay. Wind. So just whatever you can do to keep you comfortable. And then we keep that for five to 10 seconds. Then you actually, everything you do for one side, you just wanna do to the other. So you just go on over and do the same. Then you just wanna hold that. If you are feeling the pain right here, it's because you're doing it right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then you just come on back over. Now, now we are gonna go into child's pose. Okay. And then that is just forward. This is like a relaxation. And you hold this for 10 seconds. You want to come back up. Now we have a tip, we have a tippy toe squat. A tippy toe squat, a okay. A tippy toe squat. So we are right here. You're on your tippy toes and you're pressing down and you're still squatting, but you're pushing it down right here. So you're on your tippy toes. And then you hold that for five to ten seconds. And you're just bouncing. You're also controlling your breathing while you're doing this and you're holding your yoni egg into position. Mm -hmm. Then we just come on over. Then we're gonna do a relaxed pose. You just come across your legs. And then how you relax, you put your hands down and you relax backwards. Okay, I'm just moving this little mic pack. <laughs> how about how uh, what can you say to the women who feel like they may not be flexible enough to do some of these postures how do you assist with that I tell everyone when it comes to yoga it's not about being flexible it's about flexing your body so you don't necessarily have to be flexible you just want to flex your body. So it's, it's a overall thing. You just keep doing stretches. The more you stretch, the more you will actually feel it in your body. It's not something that you have to be a sweaty when you're done. Some people definitely are. It's more about breathing. It's about controlling your posture. Anybody can do yoga if you are all the way to the floor or if you are all the way in the air. There is no rules for yoga anybody can do it what if you want the benefits of the eggs but you're not comfortable with them initially like you want to start off just doing the postures i suggest to just start off doing the postures i also feel as though if you are scared to put the yoni egg inside of you put it in your bra 
You ha okay. we have small, we have small yoni eggs, we have medium, and we have large. You can take that same yoni egg, and you get the same energy from it by just placing it in the top of your bra. I suggest people do that also when they're on their menstrual cycle. If you are on your menstrual cycle, it's up to you. I have had women who told me, well, look, it's my yoni egg. I'm going to put it in when I'm bleeding. It is, you are absolutely right, it is up to you. But your lining is shedding at that time and personally I do not recommend it because it's gonna probably be a little bit of a mess. But it can, you can get, you wanna, it's the energy that you're channeling and also the calmness in your mind. So also with the cleanliness, how do you go about making sure that it's clean? You go about at all times. Okay, is so there like a particular product or, or just soap and water? Just, or? just warm water and mild unscented soap. Those are the things that you want to use. If you know that your body is um, reacts to different types of soaps, of course you don't want to use that. You yeah. clean it with a little pipe cleaner mm -hmm. and it's, it's clean. Because my body is very sensitive to any kind of soap. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got to be very, and I'm sure that I'm not the only one. Yes, I get that a lot. A lot of people are very sensitive to a whole lot of different um, chemicals just in general. So, and soaps and dyes, all different types of things. But these crystals are 100% organic, they are all GIA certified, so I have certificates for all of them. Um, a couple of years ago, I had a slight issue with the certificates where someone was actually duplicating them, so I only send certificates now when requested. But they are all GIA certified crystals, they are all shaped and formed for me, like so. And um, even one of them I have, the Pussy Grenade is specifically shaped. I created that one myself. It has lines on it which actually enhance your orgasms. So that one is specifically a orgasm enhancing yoni egg. Well, it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank treasure. you so much for having me. <laughs> <laughs> having you on and we will put all of your information at the end of the program so people can contact you if they, whether they want to uh, rent out the bus for, because I know a lot of folks want that all girl or birthday party. Yes, or, we uh, got packages. Uh, yes. We and, have packages. Yeah, <laughs> and it, but that's something fun that you and your friends can do together. It definitely is. So we are in the DMV. If you are in the DMV and you're looking for a holistic Sparty, I'm the person to contact. You've been watching the Sisters for Fitness Wellness Show. I'm Stephanie Gaines Bryan here with Treasure Gems. Treasure, you have something? Yeah, I do. So from treasuregems.com, I want to make sure that you have some of my favorite items and of course some things that you can do as far as helping with wellness. So first and foremost, we have our California White Sage, which is going to cleanse your environment and protect your environment. So that is here for you. And then we also have our Treasure Gems uh, elastic uh, resistance bands and I also gave you our cotton booty bands these are the ones that enhance your booty and these, <laughs> and these right here are the ones that just give you a full body workout these are the only things that you need if you want to get a good workout with me and you can check out my YouTube channel see all of the different uh, exercises that I have on there I have some videos on there that you can follow okay. along with okay. so there you go thank you <laughs> You've been watching the Sisters for Fitness Wellness Show. Have a great day, everybody. Yeah.